search and destroy strategy, breach, defense. Keep in mind this is not one continuous game, it is only meant to show you one or two possible pathways you can take of thousands available. Hey, it's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. I'm going to take you through a few defense videos for Breach. Uh, first one here, we're going to start off with SMG, the Type 100, I believe it's Silenced, and uh, Extreme Conditioning. I'm going to be setting up my Bettys, one just on the other side of the door there. I don't want it visible, I want them to be able to actually have to, if, if, even if they have Bomb Squad, I want them to have to come out of the safety there in order to destroy it, which usually means that they're exposed to that sniper or the SMG in the elevated position. Now because I've got the Bettys on the other side, I don't have to worry about that right now. I don't have to constantly watch it. If you're in a good clan, you shouldn't have to do this anyway. But, you know, I always look at it, I've got to protect both because I don't know what the heck my teammates are capable of or what they're going to do. So I stay on this side. If one of my Bettys goes off, I know to rush back there and get, you know, control of that situation there. But what happens is while I'm here, you can see there's the, uh, the enemy's giving himself away. So obviously someone's come through this pillar area here and we see him running by there. He probably would have flanked and uh, killed the guy in the elevated position, which obviously you don't want to do that. You need as many people on your team as possible. Always give support. If you know someone's coming in, give that support. You don't know where anyone else is, so if someone exposes themselves, you might as well close in on it and try and actually nail them. So while I'm here, there's a guy in the inside. As for typical fashion, one of our players just died on that side. So obviously someone's around there. They're obviously pushing, and A is a very highly selected area. Now, there's an individual back there with Juggernaut, and we sort of make him second guess by firing a few shots in there, hook a grenade and throw it, and that should finish him off. Now when we're here, you're going to notice I'm going to actually watch the other area. I'm watching the center, I'm also watching that far end where the connecting bridge is to the other house where people can snipe. You want to watch that area because no one's over there, I have no Bettys there, so that's priority, and I have Bettys over at A, so even if I'm not looking at it, I'm going to hear if someone actually comes through there. So, you know, I am keep checking and everything. Obviously, there's some action. I don't know if it was my teammate that threw that, the lunkhead that he is, but, um, you know, we got to keep an eye on everything. My priority, though, should be that center area there, and we actually, some guy gives himself away. Obviously, looking at the elevated position. No one usually suspects on the ground level here, so that's usually a safe way to go, and we just finish him off with the, uh, the handgun. Alright, we're going to use the uh, M1A1, which actually is my new favorite weapon on World at War with the Aperture Sight, unless rushing is required, but if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I don't rush a lot. So anyway, uh, we're setting the two Bettys up actually in the center there, uh, because I find a lot of people try and rush from there, they think it's kind of a sneaky way. I'm taking this position again. There's another position I'm not going to show you on this, but this position offers uh, good sight lines as well. You can hear anyone coming out to A, and when you stand on the ledge here, you can catch them coming down the stairs. And in many cases, they're thinking that they're sort of safe because a lot of times the elevated position above me can't see them there until they're sort of more in the open. We nail a guy coming through the columns. He doesn't set off the Betty, so they're still good, and we don't have to worry about that. We're still watching that far... Uh, connecting bridge, but we na end up nailing two coming down the stairs and on the bottom floor here. And the M1A1 is perfect for this. Alright, the next two rounds are back to back in the same game. Uh, I'm using the MP40 Silence. And for the haters out there calling this a noob weapon, just for the record, I do not like this. I prefer the Type 100. Uh, for an SMG, and I prefer the M1A1 overall. Now I'm going to place my Bettys in here because I'm going to be going over to B and watching that area there. And I know it, you can see the map; almost everyone's staying on A side, and no one's watching B. So I like to stay on B side and catch the people that are trying to sneak through the back. Uh, there's the first Betty. I don't know why. I mean, if the whole team's there, one of them should have nailed that guy. But I'm just glad that the Betty's there, or else this could have gone horribly wrong. Maybe someone would have flanked them all and just wiped them out. Because clearly, someone should have had the beat on that guy coming through. Anyway, I'm listening here. At this house here, your job is to listen carefully. Stay quiet. Don't move around a lot. Yeah, you're on defense. There's no point in running around. Moving around makes you a target. Makes you highly visible. You do not want that. You want to reduce visibility. Stay quiet. Don't give anything up to them. Let them move around. You'll hear them like they're walking with wooden shoes in that house and you should be able to nail them. And the silencer is going to allow you to nail this guy 
and his teammates not gonna really know. I mean, they're gonna know that I'm around here, and if they look to see that it was an SMG, they'll know I'm close. They still won't know exactly where I am. Now, my whole team just got eliminated, which really is unfortunate. So I figure, okay, well, my last hope here, I don't wanna move. The, the other last player could be either A or B. So I threw a grenade at the far end of, uh, as far as I could towards A, to think that I'm still sort of actively over there, and perhaps this guy's gonna come through here. And I do get lucky. But that's why I threw the grenade over there. It was uh, more of a, a deterrent. Or a decoy, rather. And there he is. Alright, second round. Uh, same thing. This is the back-to-back -back one. We're going to set up uh, Betty's in a similar fashion. Now, we've got UAV. Uh, whether that's on the out that Betty there is on the outside or inside, doesn't matter. They're both kind of effective. If they have bomb squad. They're going to be able to see it anyway. So I use the UAV, usually that would buy you some time and prevent them from sort of coming forward and being very aggressive. And some players don't really care if there's UAV and they'll rush in like madmen. So there's that one Betty. There, I mean UAV's going and they're still rushing in like crazy. Now I assume that another one's going to be coming through here. Um, I'm just listening, we catch someone here and there's a second Betty so they're really pushing hard for A. This guy here, this is why I hate the MP40. I mean, not to mention the fact that I have crap <laughs> aiming capabilities. I mean, if I have the M1A1, I can aim really well. But with this thing, it's all over the place. I mean, the entire team was over at A. And I'm going off topic again here, but I don't understand how that's possible. Two Bettys, two kills, the entire team's at A, and yet no one's able to stop that bomb carry. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if they had good position, they should have been able to nail him. So I nailed that last guy there. There's one more lurking, and my teammate actually ends up nailing him. I'm not exactly sure where he is, so I place a little smoke in front in case he's upstairs or in the back there. But, you know, the guy nailed him anyway, so now we're just waiting it out. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. For more strategies and tactics on Call of Duty World at War and Modern Warfare, visit nextgentactics.com.